<laughs> Hi guys. Hello. What's going on? Hello. Good to see you both. Mm-hmm. We are Mark, Steven, and Jeff with Hummies VR Comedy. This is our podcast. We are what do we do? What do we do? Now's the word? We go into the word? Get in there. We're trying I'm to sure. speed this bitch along. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. I got a fun one today. Oh, wow. Slap it to me. Quizotic. What? Could you spell that? Q-U-I-X-O-T-I-C. Quizotic. What the Quizotic. Fuck? Quizotic. I think it is when somebody is into... Um, you know how everyone's into something different sexually, right? Well, this person likes to be true? somewhat sort of nauseous. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. From the from the word queasy, is that what you're yeah. doing? <laughs> and exotic and uh, ex- erotic, if you will, and you smash oh, yeah. those yeah. words together. Yeah, and so wow. they they like to get in a state of like eating like a <laughs> like an egg salad sandwich from a gas station. And they get really queasy, and then they like to do their um, adult activities. Okay. Oh, so this person gets ta- turned on when they get sick. Right. Yeah. Not with. All right. All right. And not sick, but like, yeah, queasy. There's some sort of chemical reaction, and the, they just don't feel right. But they they prefer that feeling when they uh, go into adult. No, I, I like. It makes sense. It's it's that it's that risk. It's the it's the fear. Like, am I going to puke and ruin the mood? Right. <laughs> yeah. No, you're going to make the mood better. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was thinking quick. It looks like quick, quixotic. Like you know, the milk, the chocolate milk. Uh, what is that? The oh, the bunny, the Nesquik. Nesquiks. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it looks more like quicks, like fast. I think I'm close to your definition, Mark. I think this person gets turned on by quickness. Anything that's fast. Okay. You know? Yeah. Well, they'll love me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, I'll see you. No, I mean, anything. Like, they'll right. see a roach crawling across a quick kitchen floor. They're like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> it was skittering. Just, anything just, that's quick. Yep. Uh, this person gets turned on. YouTube well, and, and cheetah videos. <laughs> and not only I, I, they saw the roach, I got to go. It was turned on to the point where they immediately had to go <laughs> chop off. Like, they, there's no waiting. This reminds me. <laughs> seeing a roach scatter. Well, yeah. that, that, that did it. Uh, BRB, guys, I got to go <laughs> fire one off. Uh, both great guesses. Wow. We are, uh, it sounds like we're all in a very horny mood today. <laughs> So everybody oh. listening, be prepared for that. It's going to be a real sensual show. It mm-hmm. is. It's going to get worse this episode too. So, oh boy, or better. Up and, He's uh, planning on it. Get your socks ready. Go ahead. <laughs> What's the definition of this word? <laughs> Quizotic, <laughs> foolishly impractical, especially in the pursuit of ideals. Foolishly impractical? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pursuing ideals being impractical? Hmm. Marked by rash, lofty, romantic ideas or extravagantly chivalrous action. I, I still don't know what that means. Wow. I think this, this could tie into the, the science topic, I think. I Realistic th- ideals. I'm okay. sure it probably does. <laughs> if you want to get uh, more horny at this point, yeah, please get, continue. Get me there. Um, but we've got some. We got some space news. Some big space news. Hell yeah! Hard space news. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so slide that into remember... my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'll send you. I'll send you a link and. Uh, let me know the results. <laughs> so what happened, is, you know, last week we talked about Richard Branson and his space dick 
-hmm. Now, tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, Jeff Bezos is going to launch his self into space with his company, Blue Origin, right? Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos ready for historic launch on the new Shepard ship tomorrow. If you look at the ship, if you look at it, it's clearly shaped like a dick. I think they only uh, painted it silver because if they painted it flesh color, it would be way, way too obvious, right? Okay. Right. So he's going to go up there again, just like Branson, to the edge of space. They're all going, so that's a good point. They're all going to the edge. They're not breaking through. I mean, they're, they're, get, they, they're going up just to get to where they need to go and nowhere else. Just so they are technically in space and yeah. then they come right back down. Yep, and they say, we were in space, yep. Uh, so he's got, they've done like a bunch of like autonomous uh, launch tests and tomorrow they're actually going to take passengers up there. He, his brother, and uh, a few other paying customers are going to launch up there, experience space, and some other rich people. I mean, like, I think a robot arm is going to come out of the, um, into the passenger area and start giving hand jobs <laughs> once they reach the edge of space because oh. what? why else are you building this thing? You know what I mean? Just... Again, just for the extremely rich, there was a guy, they auctioned off the last seat. It sold for $28 million. Shut the Had anybody fuck even up. sat in it yet? Say what? Had anybody even sat in it yet? I don't know. I don't know, but... <laughs> I see what you're saying. Like in the Game of Thrones, if they're selling off the throne, they're like, this is the throne that they used in Game of Thrones was so-and-so sat in, this person sat in. It's like buying Elvis's house, where it's like, Elvis lived in here. Right. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, go ahead. $28 million for this seat. Yeah, so the guy that bought this last seat, $28 million, he's not going because of a scheduling conflict. Oh! <laughs> what, what the kind fuck of do appointment you have? did he have to skip this trip? <laughs> Instead... I Instead, there's an 18-year-old kid going in his seat. Oh, that's an adult. 18-year-old adult guy. This Some kid, right, is going to get to do this. Um, I, I want to know what appointment this guy had where he's like, oh, shit, I can't go to space. I've got a uh, oh, dentist wow. appointment. Uh, yeah, what? well, you got to book those so early on, you know, <laughs> with a dentist appointment, they always ask, what are you doing in six months? And you're like... <laughs> <laughs> nothing literally no idea yeah uh you know what good for good for whoever the appointment is with for sticking to their guns and saying we have a policy no we we don't allow cancellations mm -hmm. we don't care what you're doing we've heard the space excuse oh. a lot okay <laughs> space sure right. space yep. and dog at your homework i get it yep rules are um, rules <sighs> Well, this is this is exciting because last week you told us we found out some pretty uh, unsettling news that that Richard Branson had neither was neither piloting nor uh, engineered or designed uh, or did anything uh, you know to to get this into space other than just being incredibly wealthy. So surely. There's no way that this could happen twice within, mm -hmm. what, two weeks or a week? Yeah, so nine days. Nine days nine, of the last billionaire doing this. Yep. Great. So what, what has Jeff, Jeff Bezos, is he the pilot? Again, I don't think we clarified that last week. He's No, no. Okay, right. so he, he designed it then. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be along. He himself is going to be along for the ride, along with his brother, right? Uh, so he must be pretty confident in this uh rocket's abilities um but yeah nine days later so tomorrow morning 9 a.m eastern time is when this is supposed to happen so watch if you want but you know what don't don't uh don't clap don't clap <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> Imagine going uh, going to space and coming back in silence. <laughs> yeah, right. Can you yeah. Imagine like <laughs> it's getting to that point, right? Yeah. Or these launches will happen and people will just be standing with their arms crossed instead of. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is, what? Um, uh, where are we going? At one point, he had a there was a there was a petition a petition going on uh, to for him to not come back. Yeah, right. Wow. That's right. There was. Yeah. I don't know how many that's gotten up to. And I think he was quoted by saying like, oh, I always wanted to do this and yada, yada, that kind of thing. He's got these big plans. And I think they're quick, quixotic plans. Quick, quixotic. Mm. Right. OK. He's nice. saying uh, his idea was in this video he, uh, where they interviewed him, he's like, the idea is we're going to take heavy industry off of Earth and move it to another planet, right? He's like, we're going to stop polluting the planet. We're going to save the planet. Uh, so we're going to move the heavy industry off world. Earth is going to be a residential place, all right? We can live there. We're going to move all industry somewhere else. That's his grand plan, right? Some And who do we have to pay for shipping from the fucking moon? <laughs> yeah. But one, <laughs> the only guy that's in a rocket shaped like a fucking dick. That's right. Unbelievable. Yeah. How but, much yeah, yeah, is I your fucking shipping going to cost? <laughs> and what are we going to do with the trash? It's all going to be fucking down here. All right. Yeah. Fucking cardboard boxes everywhere. Dude, all most of the pollution is happening probably from Amazon. <laughs> right right so and also they're just they're they're keeping the moon or i don't I guess that's where they want to set shit up or mars or wherever that wherever they want to it's keeping that place cleaner because okay we're gonna make it here we're gonna ship your fucking toothpaste down to where you <laughs> want it and then you're gonna keep all the garbage on that shithole you call earth <sighs> yeah so I don't know, right? Uh, but, you know, he didn't mention that. It's like, these are my ideas. We'll talk about shipping later. But yeah, <laughs> those are my ideas. <laughs> yes. Oh, dude, this is... Uh, he's fucking genius. This is a, this right. is a genius move. Mm. God. I can't imagine. Because, yeah, that's, that's, that's the problem anyway. And I, look, I also do this too. Where I I hate Amazon, mm -hmm. but, but I you still you, order from I still oh order from because we, it's yep. it's too convenient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. So he's doing the same thing the last guy did. We're going to edge of space. Mm -hmm. I mean, was Richard if, he, if he's making a statement like this? It's like, uh, yeah, that's that's an interesting idea, right? Save the planet, sure. Say say whatever you want. Well, right? that, you, that's such a, a great comment because who's gonna go? No, <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? Don't. Right, right. <laughs> it is like why don't why don't you ship us all hand job robots? Right. Yeah. yeah. You know. Uh, you know what it's going to be? I'm going to unpackage my package. I'm going to plug it in. It's going to roll over to me. And it's going to start working, right? And then, just before you're about to come, it's going to stop. Mm. <laughs> I think it's an edge robot. Oh. That's what he's doing to everybody, Shit. I think. Yeah. Go to the edge of space. Yep. And never and come then. back. <laughs> wow. Yep. You got to pay for the plus service to get that. If it, if you want it to finish, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, man. It's exactly what it says it is. It's an edge robot. They're going to sell you the upgrade. Exactly. You got it. So that's where we're headed. That sounds great. I love it. I'm I'm here for it. I think these these guys are super geniuses. I'm so glad that we as a society have them looking out for us and only them. They're the ones making all the decisions for humanity moving forward. Mm -hmm. uh, this is great. This is wonderful for us. We are in good hands. So, yeah. that's, the, that's the problem. Is that, Dude, think about this. The guy who spent 
28 million on that seat no one even knows who the fuck he is <laughs> right, right. do you know what i mean like yeah. sure he's got that much money but we don't know him you you would think that if someone has 28 million dollars to spend on a seat oh yeah i know that guy heard of him he's mm. he's one of the most rich people in the world but he's fucking not <laughs> yeah. there are uh, like like you said jeff there are about five people who are in control of what what we're, we do right now right jeff says we're in good hands i think that's that should be the logo it's going to be a robot hand with a fist up <laughs> or maybe a fist sideways right yeah and uh the sideways know. yeah yeah with a dick in it so <laughs> just a crumpled up spaceship <laughs> Kung Fu grip. Um, so I want to like, does, does the, the guy that paid the money and that, that is not going anymore. Mm-hmm. Did he have to find the 18 year old? Like, I because, don't know because he couldn't get his person. refund back. I don't know how they got there. Or did he resell it? Like, did he resell it? Like is, is Bezos like being this petty? Like I know $28 million is an incredible amount of money, but it's nothing compared to, like, is he gonna? Is he gonna like go? Like, this is probably some of the biggest news in the world right now. Like, this publicly say, "Oh no, we're not. We're not letting you get your money back. You're you're you paid for this. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't mind uh, looking petty over you know twenty eight million dollars. You're paying us that money. You agreed to it. Like, that seems very small. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what they're return policy is there for that company um (laughs) well it's free returns blue blue origin right so anyway that's uh that's science talk of the hour god i mean meanwhile you got uh you got the delta variant coronavirus coming up again and it's like okay you talk about i remember i got mad at him last year (laughs) <laughs> when coronavirus came up, I got mad at Jeff Bezos because I was like, do something to save the world now, please. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need it now. And you're playing around on the edge. We're at that exact point again. Can we can we get some help here? You know? No. It does. You know what? Corona does seem like some sort of Jeff Bezos mastermind plan of how do I get people to ship more to their house? Ooh, what if they can't leave? <laughs> yeah. Then you have to order everything from me. Wow. Jeez, dude. You think Jeff Bezos invented Corona? I'm sure that theory is out there. Yeah. How did these dickheads manage to make space on fun? I fucking That's, love space. Yeah, yeah, they can do anything. But not when they're involved. This sucks. <laughs> Fuck them. Yeah. Jeez. Space is cool. Where's John Glenn? <laughs> it's every, every kid's dream. Outer space. Firefighter. Yeah. That's right. Outer space okay. firefighter. Ooh, okay. We'll get there. Okay. I just found out that um, hmm, <laughs> that um, Peyton, her, uh, my daughter, she's three, and she has two fears. One of them is sharks, which is I, I don't know where that came from with the beach videos, whatever. And the other <laughs> one is astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> A fear of astronauts. Fear of astronauts. <laughs> yeah, I was like. All right, well, I mean, you're pretty safe because there's not a lot of them out there. (laughs) (laughs) There's fucking six of them and three of them are about to die. So, you know. That's a good... Wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, is is that a location-based fear, though? I mean, you you can safely take a bath and not be afraid of astronauts, right? Like, sure. Well, yeah, I mean... Yeah, as long as you don't go to like any conventions, I think you'll be all right. Yeah, you can go to the beach and mm-hmm. take a road trip anywhere. You'd be fine. Yeah. You can go to bed 
Okay. But wow, that I I would take that phobia if I had to pick one, right? Just yeah. I, I won't go to any space centers. You know, right. that's okay. No space centers. Even if you do, there's a good chance you'll not run into one. <laughs> right. Yeah. As of June 17th, 2021, a total of 570 people from 41 countries have gone into space. That's that's more than I thought. Here's something. Yeah, that is a lot more than I thought um, as well. What classifies you as an astronaut? Are the, are these is this are these dickheads who go to the edge? Do you have to be an astronaut to go into space or you need the whole helmet? You need to be part of NASA. You got to be part of the crew to be a, a quote unquote astronaut. You can't be uh you can't be Jeff Bezos go into space and be a. Right. Yeah. Can we look up the definition of astronaut? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. That's, an that's asshole not. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hold on. Let's that's, astronaut. Uh, that's a good point. I mean. Okay. So this is a lot. A lot broader than I thought. Astronaut, and this is uh, definitions from Oxford languages, a person who is trained to travel in a spacecraft. Who's trained. That's it. That, that this, this definition does not say that they have been to any certain elevation or any certain point in the atmosphere. Oh. This so is just been trained. They've oh, just been shit. trained. Well, I'm not going to tell my daughter that because that'll freak her out even more i'm like but you don't this, actually don't even have to get into space it's just once you get the training done well wait so okay so these people that were briefed on the launch tomorrow these these riders they're astronauts they're astronauts right if, they, if they've had any sort of training for instance oh that's a good point if i go up there and i trip right let's say i'm i'm at a space station I trip, I fall onto this rocket right before it takes off. I go into space, but I haven't had any training. Technically, I'm not an astronaut. <laughs> oh, you're saying you trip and you fall on board. On board, the rocket. Yeah. I trip really long. Like it's like a, like I'm tripping for almost a mile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you now, know, somehow you found I your way onto the rocket. You hid, no one noticed you. You go to space. You weren't trained on how to... Exactly. Yeah, that's I a step great on, question. I step on a skateboard and I go whoa, whoa, whoa and it just <laughs> flings me all the way security. right, right before the doors shut. I fly on there, the doors shut, it takes off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one on that crew that's not an astronaut, but I'm at the same elevation they are. Yeah. So according to this definition, holy shit, you would you you'd be the first person. To ever be in space and not have ever been an astronaut. Yeah. I could be the first person ever in space. Yeah. The rest Mm -hmm. of them are astronauts. Mm -hmm. Well, I think there are also people. No. No? Okay. (laughs) No, they're not people like you and me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Take a guess. How many people do you guys think have walked on the moon? Oh no! This is this is a great question, right? We went back there. Well, I mean, the you 60s, tell me. I, I... And we haven't been back in a long time, right? Which is weird. I don't know. Uh, from the NASA, maybe a couple, but then from other other countries, nations, right? a total, couple. Total everyone. I'm gonna all... say I'm gonna say 32 people wow. have walked on the moon. I'm gonna say. I'm going to say like uh, six. Oh. Okay. How many, how many people in the world have ever walked on the moon? Twelve. Ah. Wow. Right in the middle. Well. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah. Twelve. Twelve people. Uh, and then. And then only 24 people have beyond, have traveled beyond low Earth orbit. How many? 24. 24. Okay. Wow. Got a lot of people who uh, went to a 
movie studio to keep that shut, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only select few. You tell anyone, you die. If you tell anyone, we'll know who told you. That's right. Because there's only fucking, what, 12 people? We do have a video coming out where we we did this. We made, we, have, we have a YouTube video coming out where we were in a, a moon-based game. And oh, I think I think maybe <laughs> I'll release that next uh, next week. <laughs> okay, just I for, forgot just all about timing. that one again. Um, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher it, but I just saw this Norm Macdonald joke about the the three guys who went up to the moon for the first time. It was like the one guy had to stay in the rocket, and the other two got to go out and walk on the moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like when the other when the other two guys get get in there, the the third guy's like, so so how was it? And they're like, ah, it's all, it's all right, it's not. Bad. Like trying to put it down, and make him not feel bad, <laughs> trying to make him not feel bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's okay, you know. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine like telling that story at a bar or whatever? Oh, you're on the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. So, he, what did it feel like to walk? Well, I wasn't the guy that walked on it, but I, <laughs> I was on it. You immediately, oh, damn. Hey, wait a minute. You went all the way there and you didn't. Yeah, I know. You didn't get out. Yeah. yeah. You didn't touch the. Damn, that sucks, dude. Yeah. Oh, right. That's like, that's like taking a, a plane to all the way to Australia and just staying on the plane for a week and then, and then coming back. How was Australia? It sucked. It was terrible. Actually. Same movies over and over. Yep. There's eulogy at the funeral. He went to the moon. Everybody knows that. Right. Technically. He had these kids. (laughs) (laughs) Um, well, speaking of dumb things, I I did a dumb thing that I'm very uh, unhappy about. And I don't know if anybody can tell. Uh, maybe seem a little quieter this episode. It's because oh. I bit the ever living shit out of my own fucking tongue. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Two days ago, and you're like, you're probably thinking like, oh, okay, well, this is. This is like a new tongue, right? Or like, do you have some? Do you get? Do you get it widened or anything? No, <laughs> no. Nope. Same regular tongue that I've had for my entire life. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Well, like, it, like I, you just I, recently I, had to put it in your mouth. No, nope. Stayed. It's lived in my mouth my entire life. That's always where it stays. It's where I keep it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I bit it so fucking hard. That all I've all I've been able to eat comfortably is ice cream. Really? Yeah. Like, Holy shit! What what did you eat that made you bite so hard? I have no idea. Like, you don't know what you were eating when you bit your tongue? No, I blacked out. I <laughs> I blacked out and banged my head on the counter. But you were eating though. You didn't just. I think you're I think embarrassed so. of what you were eating. Yeah, you were just <laughs> you. You didn't bite it with just some mouth move, right? You were eating something. I was eating ass, you guys. You caught me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes more sense. No, I, I honestly don't remember what it was. Uh, <laughs> Fuck! What? 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 <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Damn, dude. It so have you only been eating ice cream since? No, I had some very regretful pasta last night. I just because like I need to eat something. Uh and then it, yeah, so if, uh in a couple weeks or whenever maybe another Phasmo video shows up. If if I seem quiet, it's because <laughs> I was <laughs> Okay. Because okay, I was yeah, this, in pain. This will be the next phasmophobia video that comes out. That's the one where you bit it that day. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Well, you sound fine. You sound normal, like your normal voice. I can't tell um, that you did those things. Mm-hmm. Um, 
painkillers, which is uh, you know, it's this is it's like it's how pitiful, pathetic of a person I am. Like I'm taking painkillers because I bit my own <laughs> tongue. Like my at this point in my life, like my the biggest threats to me as a person are me. <laughs> Dude, you are yeah. Conor McGregor. I am Conor McGregor. I Conor <laughs> McGregor'd my own mouth. So. Right, yeah, you weren't you were doing a survival thing, just eating, and you injured yourself. Damn. And and, and I'm sure everybody's gonna ask, no, I've eaten before. I mean <laughs> I mean a lot, honestly. Like love to do it. I thought I was pretty good at it. That's uh biting your tongue extremely hard is you get so it's so painful and so angry at the same mm-hmm. time. It's mm-hmm. it's one of those things. Rage inducing. Oh, because you did it. <laughs> you did it. You you're the only one that did that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hate that. I'm sorry. It's 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 a mood ruiner. Yeah, dude. it really is. Mm. Well, I also think our uh, tolerance for pain gets less as we get older too. I mean, I had a really. I think uh, I I'd assume. Sounds right. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah, That's sure. Right. Yeah, because I had a cold and I was I was out for. I mean, I didn't stream at all with you guys this week because I had a cold. I was, I was taking everything. I was taking everything just to feel better. Hmm. I was taking Sudafed, Benadryl, Aleve, just everything. To, I wasn't even myself. I was in this like s- sick fog for a couple days. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, God. I got into bed oh. both nights. The first night I was sick. Or both two nights. The first two nights I was sick. I got into bed at 830. And I just laid there until the kids woke up at like 630. Oh, geez, okay. Yeah, man. Well, well, thank you both. I I feel good about my health and <laughs> bodily abilities. Uh, abilities at this at this juncture. You you're should. Doing right. You do. You're, you're doing right. great. You're doing amazing. <laughs> so those are our problems. Should we maybe see if anybody else has any problems that we can? Uh, yeah. Not yeah, help yeah. out with for sure. Okay, that's, that's what fine. we're here for. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, we're going to try something new. I might be able to play these through the thing so I don't have to hold up my phone. Let's try it. And also, if you do want to call into our hotline, please call 513-486-4968. Call in, leave a voicemail about uh, pretty much anything, anything, a question, a problem. A solution, maybe. And then we'll create the problem. (laughs) We also have a uh, question that just came in in, uh, Discord, too, which is pretty interesting. Great. We can can do one in one. But, I mean, how do you want to do this? Like, you join our Patreon live. Live questions getting uh, answered. Do you have uh, a build-up, Jeff, or what? Like, to... Of questions. (laughs) What do you mean a buildup? Uh, like oh, a like a backlog, like a yeah. mm-hmm. like a full sack. <laughs> yeah, like how quickly can we get to this this one here? Well, I think we got to do that one first. Like they're watching us. We got to. Yeah. Oh, we're, okay. we're here now. They know. We know we answered. Yeah. These other <laughs> okay, voicemails. Okay. Johnny on says, "Hey guys, Johnny from South Carolina. Question for the podcast: If if each of you became a god, would ritual?" Uh, what ritual would they have to perform to contact you? Oh man! Uh, wish you all the frequent shits and audible comes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Thank you. Johnny, what a wonderful yeah, thanks, blessing, Johnny Oz. Uh, thanks, great Johnny question. O. If you were a god, what ritual would the people have to perform to contact you? Ritual. Mm-hmm. I I know mine. You know yours. Yeah. 
they they would have to it, it starts off with one text message <laughs> and that you have to wait three full days and there's no response okay. and then another quick reminder text message about the first text message <laughs> two more days no response from me <laughs> then there's one voicemail left phone call and a voicemail and then an email that isn't open for one entire week okay and then then i will respond oh i see okay so these people who are going through this procedure is is a response guaranteed no absolutely not <laughs> oh, okay 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 no. and it's, it's not about hope, them but it's, that is how yeah. they contact you that's how they contact me but okay. there's no response guaranteed and it's not about them i'm sure they're great worshipers i you know they're very nice it's it's not a them thing it's a me thing i you know me as a god doesn't you know doesn't always okay. love to communicate so these and people have a picture of you with your microphone up on their wall over their fireplace their living room and it's got your phone number and email address under your portrait on your on your shrine and a whatsapp it's just, number <laughs> it's me hung up on a coat rack i'll just <laughs> <laughs> is that too far <laughs> no it's fine no it's, it's fine. perfect <laughs> crucifixion jokes are okay hey i, I didn't think. say that, that word a long time ago <laughs> oh jeez, funny yeah i like i like that i think i think for me the way you contact me is first of all you have to be by yourself no no phone in front of you, no visual or audio thing happening. And you have to be in the dark for 10 minutes. And you just have to have your own thoughts. Have your own thoughts, be alone before what you believe, what is really important, you're going to send my way. Because sometimes I think like when you're alone and you have your own thoughts, most of the time people will have their own doubts. They will doubt themselves and then they will not send me anything they'll be like that's stupid and then i'll be like you're right it's dumb hmm. so you just want okay. a, a little time for people to think is this really worth bothering him for right exactly oh, I, I don't want you being on your phone on tiktok you see some <laughs> kid's car and you're like oh i'm gonna shoot a text and i would prefer a text too so after after the 10 minutes you can text me because i only do text people will dm me on other things fucking hate it i have to go to every single app and then look into my d i don't like it so if people people who'd like dm me sometimes like frequently i just give them my number and i go just send me just text me i won't i don't want to come into the dms and that's that's my issue because i just i'm not on there enough and all the time where i'm gonna see it i'm always like i see messages five days later yep okay so that's that's me as a person, but uh, yeah, you have to be in silence, alone, in the dark, with your own thoughts. And uh, is it really important? Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, God's these days. You know, most people just uh, all they got to do is pray, and that's that's it. That's all I have to do. Right. I personally could not handle like you guys that easily to be contacted. I don't think my my brain could handle all the questions all the time. So I mean, six billion people on the planet, and all they have to do is pray. I I couldn't I couldn't manage the messages. So wait for this siren to pass. <laughs> so yeah, I think you guys are on the right idea. You have to have a certain ritual to make it hard to contact you. You know, I like, I like in our uh, cultist video, like I want there to be a big bowl on fire and you have to mm. dress in your cult clothes, wait for a certain time at night. And, you know, maybe you have to have your head shaved and then in a group, you're walking around the fire and reciting the questions for everybody in the group. 
And at that point, I would have screeners. Like, I don't know in this scenario, maybe if I'm a god and maybe you guys aren't, I would have the questions sent to you. You can screen them and then send them to me. Mm -hmm. So that way, okay, I know these guys know me. They even, (laughs) I'm going to receive some weird stuff. Can you guys screen them and then just, again, yeah, text me. I will respond. And then you guys can, you'll show up to the, uh, to the ritual and be like, okay, so this is what I got. Yeah. Yeah. Just tell them you walk up and tell them what I said. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) person to person. Yeah. Wow. You got it. And the the screeners really have to believe in you. Yeah. 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 Because that's, that's not a high paying job or is it? I don't know. I don't know. But even then, I would still be lazy with my responses. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah, don't, yeah, that's good. Go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> Should you know I who? marry this person? <laughs> I gotta go show that. Yeah. 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 It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I, don't, uh, it's fine. I don't know what my powers are as this god. Am I controlling everyone or do people have free will? You know, is that a bad decision? Like, should they marry this person? Maybe that's a bad decision, but I, I say, go ahead. Like, I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're just a God. Yeah. Just, just a guy. Who am I? Just a God. Yeah. You know who I think does it right? Gabe Newell. Oh, the owner of uh, valve. Yeah. Steam. That guy, I commend him. Like his, his email address I think like personal email address is public, is known. Wow. Mm-hmm. Regularly, I see screenshots of people who have emailed them. Like as recently as this new uh, Valve's new handheld thing, mm-hmm. somebody shot him an email about the hard drive in that thing. Which why would like why would you email the owner of this company a fucking tech question? Yeah. Mm-hmm. About like a specific part in in their new product. But sure enough, like he shot him back. It was like a two-word answer, but it was it was an honest answer to the question. Huh. Really? What was the answer? It was like, yes, thanks. Okay. Okay. Or like some. There you or go. Like, yeah. Jeez, that guy must be answering emails constantly. Because <laughs> we get we get that too. I mean, some people will. DM me on stuff and it's just just questions about this or that just random stuff and yeah I do my best to answer but uh, I hear all kinds of things and uh, it's um, it's weird huh yeah. I will say if anybody has ever ever has or ha- or is going to send me a message on anything if I don't respond it's not you it's totally yeah. me. I haven't yeah, seen that it message. Is, it Thank is you. absolutely me because I always forget to check the DMs. That's, the, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm always right. doing other things, yeah. It so. is, it, like Jeff just said, it is my fault that I don't see these for five days. Right. I wish yeah. I wish I, I wish I had responded to everything that anybody's ever sent me, and I hope that nobody ever takes it personally like I'm like we're not. That's right. Yeah. Responding to right. it. Like, or if like you send in a voicemail and we don't ever answer it. Um, I'm just not organized. I've never been good at, uh, at communication or, or any of this stuff. I, and it is insanely <laughs> flattering. And uh, I mean, I love, I love getting them, but this yeah. shit it responded. That's right. I think we can collectively say, we're sorry. Yeah, it's not. Uh, we appreciate it. it's not you. It's us. We're getting to <laughs> God. We're breaking up with everybody here. <laughs> Either I forget to, or I'm busy like working on stuff. So yeah, um, but I, I do try to answer everything. I do this very stupid thing all the time, especially it seems like on Discord, Discord and text messages, where somebody will send me a message. I'll look at that message. I will prepare an answer. I have a fine answer and I'll go, all right, something else just popped up. Let me go see what that is. And then don't I don't see that it. message. 
I, that the, the notification on that message is gone. Yeah. So now there's no response. So many times I go, Oh, I thought someone will hit me back up and be like, Hey, did you ever, whatever? And I go, dude, I, I have an answer typed into my bar right now. Mm -hmm. And I was mm -hmm. like, I thought I hit send. Yeah. Mm. So good, good stuff. Uh, thanks for the question. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Do we have another one? Oh, you wanted to play one, right? In your new in your new way. Yeah, we'll try we'll try a new way to play. Okay. Let's see if this works. Bet it doesn't. Oh, and it also might be like crazy loud or something. Who knows? It Okay. Well, hey guys. This is Aaron from Dallas, Texas. Real quick, I just want to say that starting this podcast was a great <laughs> idea on y'all's part. I think it's cool to hear about your lives outside of vr and it makes the work week a lot easier on me so appreciate it anyways my question for you guys is if you were forced to spend a day with an exact copy of yourself how would you spend it appreciate it guys keep up the good work and uh shit and come to you all <laughs> <laughs> bless bless you thank praise, you praise me <laughs> and to you as well and to you as well also too. Thank uh, you for the voicemail. That's a great question. It is a great question. If you were spending a day with a clone of yourself, what would you do? You know what's funny about this already is right when I understood the question, immediately I go, oh my God, that sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> That's my first reaction is that sounds terrible. <laughs> And right, so. I'm that person. What an <laughs> asshole I am. So immediately, like, the movie uh, Multiplicity comes to mind. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And, uh, was it Michael Keaton, right? Michael Keaton. Mm -hmm. um, hilarious movie. Great, great stuff. Where he, he does that. He goes to a scientist. He's busy. He's married. He's got a job. He's like, I need more of me. There's this breakthrough technology. He goes and clones himself. And... The first, I think the first guy he says, and that's what I would do. He sends him to work. He's like, can you do my job? <laughs> just, just go to work. And for me, I'll, I'll just do the personal stuff I want to do, the stuff at home. But then like Mary life is busy and he's like, God, you know what? After a while, he's like, I think I need another clone. <laughs> I think I need, he gets, gets himself cloned again. The second clone he's like, can you do the house stuff? Yeah. The house upkeep all that and uh i won't spoil it but it's a damn funny concept yeah they make me want to watch it yeah it's, yeah well it's almost like the mr me seeks isn't it kind of yeah like, yeah. like mr me seeks right and then one of uh i think one of the clones thought it would be a good idea to go out and get cloned yeah and something bad happens when a clone gets cloned. So, yeah. <laughs> um, my, uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. The first one, if, if it were me, I, if I only had one day, sure. I would send them to work on stuff. Probably. Can you take care of my bullshit? Mm. <laughs> you know, um, that way I'm free to do whatever I want. Um, but then, you know, the also, also first thought I have, like, is my dick bigger or is yours? Can I see it real quick? I, <laughs> I want to see how well the clone did, you know? Uh -huh. Like, okay. All right, now get, now get to work. All right. <laughs> first thing. <laughs> wow, that does look exactly like me. Let me see your dick. <laughs> yeah. Just got to be sure. Yeah. But I would also like to play pranks on people. Pull magician tricks for a day. How great would that be? Oh, yeah. No? Oh, yeah. At the end of the day, we're definitely doing a... Uh, 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 with Trying Hugh to... Jackman. Oh, oh, yeah. The the, the prestige. prestige. Prestige, yeah. Um, sure. People that know me well. And no, for a fact, I don't have a twin. <laughs> <laughs> Blow their minds for a day. Yeah. Yeah. I. 
Oh God, yeah, this one is. I feel like this is like a deep, revealing question. Yeah. Uh, we probably try and go like do shot for shot remakes of all the old double mint gum commercials. <laughs> <laughs> I would think you could do that with a green screen though <laughs> right yeah yeah but then I mean it's it's not the same <laughs> um, we probably spend most of the morning working on the mirror gag and like <laughs> getting our timing down on that <laughs> so your whole, whole day <laughs> yeah your whole day with yourself is just fucking off yeah. 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 I mean, why change things for a clone? Mm -hmm. You're right. Maybe, maybe that's selfish of me to exploit the labor of the clone. Well, I mean, if it's one day, we're not going to get anything done anyways. Yeah. Does this clone have a soul? What happens after the day? Where does he go? You know what I mean? Like if, the, if he does I'm like, Oh dude, why don't I would send just here's some money, go eat whatever you want. Go, go out there, fuck something. I don't know. Let's <laughs> let's just say let's just say it just they disappear. You basically get yourself for a day, and that that disappears afterwards. So it's not like a a life or I mean he he is you. He's experienced everything you've experienced so far. So wow. it's it's not like all right. Well, I guess I'll just go have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to get what we always get? <laughs> Yeah, go pick that up so I don't have to pay the uh, Uber Eats fee, will you? <sighs> yeah, that's That'd a be wild good. question. Because like, what would what would just what would you do if you had one day off? You know, what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I think I think for me, when you it's so funny when you start talking about like, oh, I'd, I'd make him work, and I'd go, I already went. It was like this guy's not going to work. It's my 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 <laughs> so, guy. Yeah, yeah, he won't. No, he's not. He. He'll He'll do gonna, a half-ass job. Exactly. <laughs> it's so okay, funny. You, you don't even me. trust yourself to work. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I don't trust me. Yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think. Uh, God, that's hard. It's a hard one. I think. I think I would just want to try to, um, like, come up with ideas all day. Oh, okay. Because it's it's you, right? Mm -hmm. But it's another, maybe it's another uh, avenue of thinking. Like right, it's not but, like you're oh, saying if, the same thing at the same time with your ideas. But maybe this cl the clone of me has another angle on a similar thing that we think about. Like I don't have to be like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, of course I know what you're saying. <laughs> it's like I don't this. Know if, maybe, but what if? The day starts, you both wake up in bed together. <gasps> mm -hmm. You know? Oh. Okay. And if you have them right, up until that point, you both have experienced the exact same thing your whole lives. Yeah. If you sit there and try to write comedy, mm -hmm. you're both going to come up with the same idea at the same time. You're going to look at his nose and be like, that's what I just wrote. Yeah, I just <laughs> said that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Then I guess, I guess, yeah, put his, put his ass to work. <laughs> Hey, kick your feet up. Have a day. I really like Tof's idea. Commit a robbery, but have the clone at a public place with friends, then disappear. Oh, perfect. Wait, why, think, why, why wouldn't he just have the clone do the robbery? <laughs> he's saying he's going to commit the robbery and have the clone be the... Be well, the I mean, could you do that? I, does this clone have your exact DNA, your fingerprints, all that stuff? Well, I think, I think you'd have to you like the the better. Well, not maybe not the better. I would commit a small crime early in the day, but big enough that I get arrested for it. Mm, mm -hmm. Like so, murder. the police are certain they have you. The, you mm -hmm. are in their custody. You, they have, they fingerprint you, you get booked, you're in their whatever. And then the mm -hmm. clone goes out and does 
or vice versa. I mean, it really doesn't oh, matter. If, if, you would get arrested first and then have the clone do something interesting. Okay. Get one of them arrested so that there is absolutely no way that they think that you were out and about. That's that's a better idea than what I had, which was record a video of you out in public and here <laughs> at this coffee shop at this time. I'm jerking off to today's newspaper. Um, <laughs> You know, the time as you is do every day. Mm-hmm. Just, all right, is better. Yeah, go get arrested first. Well, would you pick yourself up? Because <laughs> the like the cops aren't going to be like think of you being at a movie theater and be like, wait a minute, this guy's watching a movie. We might have gotten the wrong guy. You got to go pick yourself up and be like, did he do it again? He's such a rascal, this guy. <laughs> and then the cops go, wait. He's not you? And you're like, no, he's not me. He's him. (laughs) And then they go, I, I, I. (laughs) And then they unlock and they go, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Brady. It won't happen again. (laughs) No, it won't. This is the only day it will happen. (laughs) Yeah. And then you guys, then you see him and you go are you all right and he goes yeah and then you give him a kiss <laughs> and you go i know you're not <laughs> and by that time it's midnight and he's gone let's go get you an ice cream <laughs> <laughs> so that's my day with a clone yeah god being with me is exhausting it really is <laughs> right. and i mean with me not with for with sure you no that or I would make him go be in public situations or like make him go to lunch with people or friends and just observe from afar, take notes. <laughs> what do people think of me? <laughs> right. Like when he walks away to go get a refill, what are they saying? Mm, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. You could just hit record on your phone and put it at the table. Yeah, leave it at the table. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that one of your deepest insecurities is as soon as you walk away that everyone's just like uh yeah so uh, dude what the fuck is with him lately what is just, wrong with him like immediately everyone talks shit about you as soon as you leave he's not chewing his food he's just gulping it like a seagull <laughs> or like a pelican did he bite his own fucking tongue or something <laughs> what an idiot <laughs> the clone would check on insecurities <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh wow great hmm. well Aaron from Texas I hope that answered your question it's a great question from Dallas Texas ooh we that one those that makes you think you know hmm. yeah great question yeah or you know yeah. what I might do I might just have him get a job for a day and just get the extra income. Go get a job, help some people move on Craigslist. Get sixty dollars yeah. and, and uh, give that to me, and then you'll be gone tomorrow. Well, another another wild, wild brain fucker. Like, what if you woke up in bed? <gasps> you saw your clone. And you got the news. Actually, you're the clone. I'm the real person. So you're told. You're told today that you are here. You're the clone. You will only exist today. Are you gonna like obey what yourself says? Oh, dude, yeah. Try to fist. Try to kill him, and then only you exist. Well, you would still. Not because of Highlander either. rules. <laughs> These two <laughs> killed it. It was, it was a murder suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo and Romeo. <laughs> what the fuck happened as soon as the day started? <laughs> the alarm goes off and I kill myself. I knew it. I knew I could just immediately trust me. start wrestling in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fight. <laughs> oh. We're not even out of bed, and there's a fight. I also think I would send mine to the doctor 
<laughs> I'm like, all right, fine. <laughs> you good. get all the tests. Mm-hmm. And that way, if anything comes back negative, my brain could still plausibly say, well, that was just the clone. He's the one that has high cholesterol. Mm. You're fine, probably still. No need for you to go to the doctor. Wow, yeah. That is a good point. Send them on all your appointments. Go see the dentist, the dermatologist, the re- and- regular doctor. Go get blood drawn or whatever. Do all the, the that petty shit like no one's got time for. And then you find out, depending on the results of those, if you want to pursue those further with right, yeah, the follow-up appointments to those awful appointments. Exactly. But and would also, he do it? Would he do your bullshit? If you no, because he's me. So. Yeah, what are you going to do? Fire me? I'm, <laughs> I'm out, man. I'm gone in six hours. I don't care. Yeah. Or, God, I'm an asshole. <laughs> All the shit that I like, I'd be too afraid to be rejected for, like modeling jobs or acting or mm. or any like any sort of tryout. Send him, so he's the one that didn't get the part, not me. Oh okay. yeah, I don't have to take that rejection. Mm-hmm. Sure. And for the record, I'm not thinking about modeling or, or, or any of that <laughs> shit right now. I'm just saying as a hypothetical, sure, a thing that you could be rejected from. That makes sense. Yeah. You could be accepted, though. And then I take the I take all the glory. I he's gone, mm-hmm. and I step in. That's good. Yeah, they give you a physical. All right, everything looks good. Stick out your tongue. Oh, geez, what happened? The fuck is you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Bite your own tongue? Jesus! My God! Never mind. Yeah, get this guy some donkey brain pills. He's like a full-fledged idiot. This is scary. How old are you? Wow, you made it this far? Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, well, I think we got... I think, I think we got we that covered, one answered. Yeah, we covered quite yeah. a lot. I think so. Well, is that us for, for, for the day, for the week? Probably. Not for the week, right? Oh, um, for the podcast. Yeah, Lots podcast stuff coming yeah. up. Yeah, should what? Uh, do we want to recap or or what do we got coming up? A uh, new video just came out on mm. YouTube, uh, and more will continue to that I'm working on. Wonderful Good stuff in the future, um, and then. Uh, Space, space tomorrow. Well, you're, you'll hear about it and say, oh, that was yesterday. So, yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is old news. <laughs> yeah. Next week, we'll talk about how it went. Mark, you got any shows coming up? Uh, I do. I just haven't been plugging them because I'm, I'm just really, really working on uh, newer stuff. So, it's so funny. Like, I will, I'll start plugging stuff when I feel a little bit more confident in like new, new stuff. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's like people when I first, like people first know you do stand up and they're like, or when you first start, it's like the first couple months, like, oh yeah, let me know when their show is. Why? I suck. I suck right <laughs> I'm now. I'm brand you new. See me in 15 years. That's the best time to see me. Would you, would you now, and I'm not saying that I'm, uh, you've never said this. I'm not trying to make it sound like you're, the, um, this is your idea. You're saying this, but would you now go with this newer material, go to some shows that maybe before you did the album, you wouldn't have done like, a, like open mics or, you know, smaller type oh, stuff. Yeah. No, I'm in some real dog shit places right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had uh I did uh I actually did a story on my Instagram. I'm sitting there with a buddy just waiting to go on in this place. And um it's like it's like a bar and this one guy is singing fucking like opera. I don't know no one knows if it's supposed to be funny or not, but he's like <laughs> singing opera at an open mic and it's just like in a bar and there's like three people paying attention and, and I'm just like wow, I can't believe can't believe I'm here. <laughs> wow. 
But to, oh, to be wow. fair, I like doing places like those because those places make you really work a lot harder for people's attention and try to get an idea across. And okay, out of you three people that are here, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think about this? And also the stakes are lower so you can be more relaxed and like, well, you know, what? what's the worst that's going to happen? You're not going to respond like you did the fucking 15 people before me. So, yeah. There's, you ever there's say that. shit like, wow. like you go up there and like, oh, what's the worst going to happen? This fucking guy's not going to laugh and like realize you're talking out loud. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Have your clone in the audience supporting you with laughter and clapping. The only one laughing. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. <laughs> all right well then uh, as far as uh a recap what we we learned that uh oh fuck what did we learn that that's um uh five people are controlling the world spaces for dicks spaces yeah. for dicks which, which was on our last episode too <laughs> <laughs> yep it's a theme yep uh if i'm a god you're a god Got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, be careful with your with your teeth and your chompers and your tongue. Mm. <laughs> right. You know, you, you you use something for your whole life, and then you think yeah, you know if, it. <laughs> yeah. What if Jeff's clone Jeff's clone day happened on the day he bites his tongue? <laughs> <laughs> the whole day is ruined for both of them. <laughs> They're both just sitting on the couch, miserable, complaining. <laughs> that's another that's thing. How, you spend that's exactly less time how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, what a waste! <laughs> Me? Yeah, I know. Um, 